such a dangerous kind of pick up again this season now. Mm. How important can he be for you again moving forward? Well, we hope is is exactly that, uh, Paul. To be honest, it's. Um, um, yeah, you, you know, after he came back from that groin injury that he picked up at Southampton last year, he ended up being a massive influence on our performances and our, and our results because of the goals that he got. And for sure, you know, for us to do well uh, in this league, we're going to need players that can, can score a goal or two. And he showed that. And like I said, if he's done that there, then then great. Let's hope he can build his fitness now. He can have a bit of luck in terms of availability and he can, you know, get back to where he was at the, the end of the season. Um, yeah, and if we if we can bring some players in, because obviously we we're, we're desperate to improve the squad. Matt's in now, um, all is in, but that was only replacing Renan and Kayla and Dean from from last year. Anthony's the only real addition, and we know that if we really want to grow and get better and 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 improve in this league, we we need to bring some players in. Um, so I really hope that the club can do that now. So and because um, like I said, it doesn't get any tougher than than this league. We managed to survive last last uh, season. We did it in a certain way, and we've got to try and evolve that. But to do that, we need to we need to add to the starting team, and consequently then to to the squad. So you know, fingers crossed that you know that sort of stuff can can kick in because we need it. Is, is that goal the matter of that goal kind of epitomised the threat you can have on the counter attack? Yeah, well, it can because Anthony's Anthony's really really quick and dynamic, and um, he's a real sort of Premier League athlete already, even at his sort of young age. So. I mean, and you, you need that, and that's something that I would like to improve through the team is the the, dy dy the athleticism and uh, uh, and speed. So you know he's he's brought that in T as well. So um, so yeah, just if we can if we can do that in a couple of other positions as well, that will definitely help for sure. Uh, just out of interest, how many players do you need when you sign so many? Players? I wouldn't put a number on it, Sam. I think that um, I just feel that. Um, like I said, we've replaced the left back, replaced the goalkeeper, and that's great, you know, because because they were lone players. We've had Dylan Anthony, which is good, really good. But it but it was so tough last year, and we learned quick quickly that you have to be at a certain level to be able to compete. So to do that, you know, we've we've got to have the ambition to improve the team and to get better. My mentality is always to improve. I said I think I said in the in the in the um, pre-match press conference, there was no jubilation from last year. It, for me, the, the biggest feeling was we, we got work to do, we got to improve. And and that's lots of aspects of the club but certainly, you know, the level of the team. So um so hopefully we can do that. Is it defence a particular area looking at sleeve or is it everywhere on the pitch you like to Yeah again similar to so I don't really want to say exactly but we we know exactly what we need and what we want to do. Um listen my mantra is always like believe in the players you work with and, and try and get the best out of them and or them get the best out of themselves and that's why you know that's that's what we we spoke to them about half time because we felt they could have backed themselves a bit more in, in games. But yeah there's certainly areas of the of the game uh, sorry of our game that we would like to improve and to do that we've like certain like types of profiles. If we're able to do it great. If not then I'll still roll my sleeves up and, and you know get on with it because that's that's what I've always always done and um, you know everyone knows um, how important this club is and things like that. But at the same time, we want to keep the positivity going um, over the last two years and keep growing as a club. But to do that, you know we've got to improve the team. Sarah, Steve, are you, are you close to getting anything done? Are you wanting to get anything? I'm not sure, Sarah. To be fair, I'm not sure. Um, nothing imminent, that's for sure. But um, maybe we'll find out in the next couple of days. Hey, mate. Steve, um, you mentioned that you get those quittings at the beginning of the first half, but despite that, you didn't really give much away. Mm. Uh, was there anything that, given the, the way that you attacked in the second half, would you, on reflection, would you change anything? I'm not criticising my team. I would never criticise my team. We're, so, we're, we're all, yeah, we're all in it to, 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 together. If there's anyone that I'll ever criticise, it's myself. But um, no, I just felt that the, like there's all there's all many aspects to a game. And some of it was fine, uh, and there's other areas of the game I felt we should have been better at, and, and the players know that, you know. So because we're always striving for every single training day and match day, so um, so that's yeah. And like I said, when when you when you've got a a model of how you want to work, you've always got something to compare to, and some of it just fell a little bit short in certain in incident instances. But um, but that that'll always be the case. You very rarely do you look at a match and think there's not something you could do better. Um, for me, I just really want the players to to know how good they are. And that they can compete at this level, and um, like I said, belief for me is the most important thing. 
Um, and but they've got to feel it, you know, as well. Last question. Uh, Sorry, we'll go to the last question, sir. Thank you. Hi, Steve. We're from Eskin, Brazil. I can see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a quick question about Scarpa. Um, I know he wasn't in the team today. Yeah. Um, I know he's had a few injuries, but he hasn't really had many chances. With mm. you. Do, you see him, do you see him playing a big part this season? I think uh, I think everybody's at the, in, in the same boat. You're right. You're right. He has, has had a bit of bad luck with injuries and a um, bit of a mixed um, period on that on that front. Um, and, and, and unfortunately returned to, to pre-season um, on the injury table with, with one or two others. So, um, so yeah, it's getting back from that and just in that normal process of um, trying to, to work your way into a squad and a team and, and if you get opportunities, take them. And it's no more simple than that, really.